Hi everyone, how are you? If you are new, welcome, welcome, I'm Michelle. If you're returning, what is poppin'? What is this? I just want to fly out, sorry. So, I haven't done a reading in a week because my laptop was down. So my laptop is back and I want to jump on for Divine Masculines. First and foremost, to anybody who lives in the States, happy Thanksgiving to y'all. You know, I think every day is Thanksgiving, but if you are celebrating today, may it be abundant and prosper and enjoy enjoy your life divine masculines i want to come on to i want to come on here and give you guys an energy update for sure but two things one i'm listening to bigger love by john legend so there is a bigger love aspect here heart has grown congratulations the second thing i want to say to y'all is a lot of you who have been awakened and have been stepping into your purpose and mission i see that you're playing with decks and cards and really being authentic with what you like and you know, really just being you, and I just want to give you so much love. It's so nice to see that without you even caring anymore about what people think of you, okay? Wow. Show the world the real you. Yes, Hatsi, and that's what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, it's that energy of, like, it's time for you to really be who you really are. Like, literally, that's what it is. Like, the bigger love aspect of it, I didn't take it as... Um, a romantic aspect I took it as a bigger love with self of who you really are because you're finally being you for once in your life the energy is gaining momentum yeah it's definitely gaining momentum I feel like this has been a very slow process for you divine masculines and you know we all have our own time I feel like for this collective it's the aspect of slow and steady wins the race. You're very precise. You're very, um, like you have a strategy in play here. That's what I'm feeling. But I also feel like the motion was slow for you to really start erasing the old programs, the old wounded, distorted ego. Um, and also understand that, you know, you want to come out victorious really it's like when you're gonna come out you're gonna be coming out shining bright really but this energy is gaining momentum so let's tap into the energy oracles which is the most physical deck I have you know I respect y'all and you know I love me some divine masculines and y'all are physical so let's get physical so let's see what this is show the world the real you man holding a heart bigger love you see what I mean y'all now please of course this can be a number a number this can be the energy of a romance that's building clearly and this song is like I will always love you you will always be the one okay and the number is 45 so the number 45 can resonate but I'm also picking up a nine which is almost a completion I feel like show the world a real you is that you actually have a very vulnerable loving heart and I feel like it's time for you to show it and you're gonna be coming out like when I say you're gonna be coming out like it's this motion of this is who I am and my heart is not even on my sleeve I'm gonna be holding my heart for you to see this is also an energy that I feel like you might be actually revealing to someone that you actually love them I want to get back to you. That's what John Legend just said. That's really sweet. If this is you, big ups. Big ups from your big sister, y'all. All right. The energy is gaining momentum. Let's clarify this. Oh, we have three, but I'm going to take these two and I'm going to leave this up here. Okay, my love? So let's see. The journey and the thinking man. Come on. This is so amazing. Okay, first of all, Let's look at the numbers. We have 46, okay? So 45 to a 46, there's a progression, which equals a 10. Then we have the number two. The two is all about partnerships, okay? Always comes back to love, because love is all that matters. But again, guys, this can also be the journey of yourself, really expanding, showing the world the real you. But the thing is, if you truly do love someone, that also has to be showcased, because that's your truth. That's what I'm hearing, okay. So the thinking man, absolutely. Now, please understand the number 46 can resonate with you on your journey, but he's looking at a crystal and really uh, um, observing it, really 
rarely observing it. It's like a little too much. You might be a little, you know, you might be a little obsessed. I'm the one I'm trying to pick up here because the energy is gaining momentum. I feel like you're getting more and more and more intrigued by what this energy is. This could be people, places, and things. Please don't tell, don't be coming to me and tell me, Michelle, don't be telling me I'm obsessed with a person. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you're looking at something. And it's a crystal, and it's shiny, and it's bright. It definitely has your attention, Hansi, okay? The energy is gaining momentum because you're actually walking through this Rainbow Bridge. And now, if you don't know what the Rainbow Bridge is, you should look it up. But really, the Rainbow Bridge is the bridge into the spiritual world. Therefore, you are the bridge to the ascension. Now, the feminine energy is holding up. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of looks like a crystal. <laughs> um, but it's a light. It's definitely a light, but it looks very similar to the crystal. Um, so you can take that as it resonates for you, my love. But it feels like energetically she is ahead. She already has her bag. She's like, I left this world. This feminine's like, I left the 3D man. Like, I'm gone. Like, my bags are gone. I'm on the Rainbow Bridge. I'm on my journey. I don't need no signs. I know my path. And you know what? Just in case, here is the light for you to follow, to inspire to, to come with. Because this is the journey. And then he's over here, you know. He ha he looks like he has pretty much everything he needs, but he's still staring at this light. You take that as it resonates to you, but the energy is gaining momentum. Let's look at this third card. Fourth card. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The Angel of Strength. Number 50, which is a five, which is change. This can mean two different things. This can be the beauty and the beast. Um, but this also understand that there is a lot of strength here and the angel of strength is upon you at this time, divine masculines. So you have reached a level of strength that you probably never thought you could have or, yeah, I'm picking up like, it's, it's kind of like a fairy tale energy. I'm not gonna lie to you with the lion and the angel, but I'm going to tell you the truth. The lion leads with his heart. And because this is here, I feel like there's a lot of strength through the motion of love. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful, Divine Masculine, because you know that love is everything. We are love. And, you know, a lot of the twins don't even realize that if you are a twin, if you're not, no problem. But take this with a grain of salt. The twin flames were considered like the guinea pigs because it's like we were brought into this world under this soul contract that is so difficult, that is so confusing, and we think that we are in charge, but we're not. God is always in charge. It's God's will, not ours. And we were kind of the guinea pig to go like, let's see if these two will find each other, and when they do, will the love actually win? Because there's so many other things outside of us that can take us off our path and sway us off so far that love doesn't win in that energy. But as twins, we are the essence of the creator and the love the creator has. And we are two physical beings that were raised in different households ethnicities, ages, anywhere around the world we could be. But we found each other, we are connected to one another, but now it's like the test of times will love actually win. But it's like all of the support that's around you at this time. Just saying, you know, take that as it resonates for you. I don't think I've actually ever said it like that before, so. It's definitely something I've been wanting to say towards the end of this year, coming into December for the collective, not only for Divine Masculines, but for all of us. But, you know, clearly it's meant to come out. Ooh la la. Okay, we have Kali Ma and Lady Portia. I love this. Okay, 
So the guides that are with you right now is Kali Ma. She is the goddess of the destroyer. Facing fear, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Listen, I do believe that through this motion of this energy, understanding that the world is dying and the veil is about to drop and a lot of the spiritual realm is going to reveal itself to humanity. I do believe that Kali Ma is here. You guys know that I had a bloodshot eye. I gave Kali Ma a thank you. The next morning I woke up with a bloody eye, a bloodshot eye. When Kali comes to me, guys, she comes full force and she always gives me bloodshot eyes. I usually receive it on my left side, which is the feminine side of the body. This time around, I, I got it on my right side, which is the masculine side. So I'm not surprised she is here because there are a lot of uh, deeper layers of core wounds and fears you are facing, and especially, especially in the heart is what they're telling me. Um, Lady Port Portia, Divine Order, do what, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. You see, Kali came towards you guys to teach you the most important lesson of all, and that's really the test of faith and love, and to really to really get you into the motion of showing the world a real you. Can you really do it? Can Do you have the strength to show this type of love? Um, you know, to understand that there is a journey here. There is a journey. There is a bridge from humanity to the spiritual. And you, my love, are actually the man or the woman, please take it as it resonates, confirmation, that is supposed to bring people along on their journey. This is your mission but it comes from the motion of love, which is so amazing. Okay. Let me get one last message here from the Keepers of the Light, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Very beautiful message today, y'all. Um, I hope it resonates. Diana, focus attention. Yeah, for sure. It's all about keeping your focus at this time. Think about what you desire. Set yourself Set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. Well, this makes a lot of sense to me because the energy is gaining momentum. It's getting there more and more and more. And they're showing me the three birds here. One is taking the lead and the two is keeping up. This is the trilogy energy to, for me. But it's also understanding that you have to remain focused. Keep your eye on what you really want desire at this time, Divine Masculines. These are three feminine energies that are guiding you. And the reason why I believe there's a lot more feminine energy on the on, on the table is because you're actually integrating your feminine within yourself. And this is why this masculine is sitting here with his heart. Show the world the real you. you and there's a feminine here pouring that water. The water is about purity, rebirth, um, really purifying, I don't know if I said purity or purifying, it doesn't matter, you get the drift. She is really giving you that energy to really give you the strength to come forward of who you really are. So you have a lot of feminine energy with you right now, Divine Masculines, which is amazing. You know, to integrate and to be in union with self is the biggest gift. If you're gonna be grateful for anything today, I would suggest you have a moment to be grateful for this journey, for the heart that has been healed. I do feel some of you, the feminine energy has healed your heart, um, energetically or physically, depending on your situation. Um, but also thanking the guides and your ascended masters and mostly God for giving you this journey and really understanding that this is, you're finally at a place that you can be who you are and um, start shining the light onto the world as you are meant to in this life, Divine Masculines. You're called Divine Masculines for a reason. Um, I love how they're telling me to give you a message here from Whispers of Love, and that would be my honor to do so, and then I'm going to finish up. So if you guys like this video, please press like. If it resonated, you can feel free to comment, or as you always do, reach out to me on um Instagram. I know everybody likes to inbox me because you have more of a personal um, comment or personal statements. 
So whatever you want, my loves, you know I'm here to help and serve, and it's my honor, okay? So many blessings to you. We have three, another divine feminine energy, the Empress. Okay, let's get it started, and I'm going to wrap it up. Number 10, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply, absolutely. Number 42, which equals a six, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have fundamental needs to take a break. This is a message to some of you who've been working a little too hard. Take a break and don't be hard on yourself. The spiritual journey is very destructive, hence why Kali is here. Um, make sure you rest so you can integrate all this energy and all the downloads you are receiving. If you are one that goes, 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 that's not what a divine masculine does because the thing is a divine masculine has to sit in his feminine energy so he can rest and like I said, integrate all that comes in. If you just keep going, you're working on the lower mind and um, you're not really allowing the information to absorb in you like a sponge, okay? Just letting you know. Last message, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Absolutely, divine masculine, this time, like, it can't be any more clear. This is the motion of find out what someone you love loves and demonstrate it through action, okay? The song that's playing, and I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. Probably is the favorite song ever. Is We Will Never Break. No matter what, we will never break. Think about what I told you about the twin flame journey and how we are kind of like the guinea pig. Will love break? Will love win? You let me know. All right. Love you.